Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Still dealing with this bursitis a little bit. Uh, so, uh, y'all bear with me. And uh, 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 I would wish this on my worst enemy. Boy, I tell you, getting old ain't for no punks. I will tell y'all that, though. It definitely ain't for no punks. You know, all these little elves and crazy uh, ailments that pop out of nowhere. Ooh, I tell you. Ooh, excuse my language. Anyway, you know, it's about to get real, 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 real ugly for my man. Rob, it's about to get bad. I'm not making no excuses. I'm not making no judgment, no shade. Because I still know that uh, while they're making an example out of you, as they should, as they should, I also think they should make some examples out of some of these mothers um, that allowed this to happen, as I've stated on so many occasions. I also am waiting on uh, Harvey Weinstein to have a trial. It's, it's, it's just so long overdue. And I'm wondering why nobody is uh, even questioning Priscilla Presley about her affair with Elvis Presley since she was 14. Because I want to hear some of that ugly stuff too. I just don't want to hear it being black men. I just want some balance. That's all. I'm not justifying anything. Um, racist people. I just want I just want some equality here. Okay? That's my whole big problem. I want to know what happened to Epstein because there was no funeral. So he did he get away scot free? Uh, I don't know. Y'all just said he died. Nobody saw a funeral. Nobody heard of a funeral. We just know he died. Ain't that something? And I don't trust y'all enough, you know, to um, you devil far enough where I can throw you. So I already know that's crap. He's probably running around here on some island somewhere just chilling. Anyway, the Bronx of this, I got to bring it because um, it's a necessary evil. Um. Physician Chris McGrath testifies that the singer had herpes since at least 2007. Uh, as prosecutors allege, he knowingly infected people. Okay, now I'm going to give you a trigger warning now because this article um, and the details about illegible sexual conduct and violence, which may be upsetting to uh, some of the readers. Wow. Robert's um, personal physician of 25 years took the stand Thursday to testify about his treatment of the singer's genital herpes since at least 2007 after prosecutors alleged that the singer knowingly infected but multiple people with the incurable sexually transmitted disease. The singer, 54, whose name is Robert Sylvester Kelly, has pleaded not guilty to charges of racketeering and violating the Man Act in an anti-sex trafficking law. Separately from this case, case, Kelly faces child pornography and obstruction charges in the Northern District of Illinois and faces state charges there also for multiple counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. He is denied um, strongly all these accusations. And one of the underlying acts alleged against him is that he knowingly infected women with herpes in violation of public health laws that require people who have infectious venereal diseases to notify their partners about their diagnosis. 
On Thursday, Chris McGrath, a Chicago-based physician specializing in internal medicine, appeared in Brooklyn Federal Court under a subpoena and testified that there had been that he'd been treating the singer since 1994. McGrath testified that he suspected Kelly had genital herpes as early as 2000 because of symptoms the singer had, but a lab test to detect the virus at the time came back negative. McGrath testified that timing of the test is important and that the test itself at times gives false negative results. I did not conclude that he did not have herpes, McGrath testified, occasionally referring to Mr. Kelly's medical records, which the prosecutors also obtained through the subpoena. McGrath testified that after examining and testing Kelly in June of 2000, he told the singer to inform you, inform your sexual partner so they can make a decision whether to have sex with you or not. McGraw said it is recommended to treat genital herpes with a known drug as Valtrex, which can be prescribed for short-term treatments. But if a patient has outbreaks of the disease more than three times a year, McGraw testified it is recommended that the patient take the medication every single day. Um, McGraw said that uh, Kelly or his associates would frequently call him for refills of Vatrex at the Walgreens pharmacy. It was also it was so often that I memorized the number to that Walgreens, he said, and recited the phone number in court. Defense attorney Nicole Blank Becker pressed McGrath about the fact that the physician didn't document a, gen, a official general to herpes diagnosis for the singer. The earliest documentation of a graph prescribing the herpes treatment val uh, drug Valtrex was in March 2007, according to a medical record that prosecutors presented in court. And the earliest documentation showing Kelly had a history of genital herpes was made in the medical record of uh, from 2011, when McGrath testified his office transitioned from paper medical records to electronic ones. Singer never paid for his medical services, the doctor testified. On Wednesday, a woman named Geronda Pace testified that Kelly had sexually abused her in 2009 when she was 16. And after a few months of having unprotected sexual intercourse with him, she developed genital herpes. Damn, Rob, you just, you fucked up. That's all I can say. You are fucked up. The test, she testified that Kelly did not tell her that he had herpes. She said that Kelly had examined, she said Kelly had her examined by a doctor at his home who told her to take medicine. The public health law requires that someone with a communicable venereal disease to inform their sexual partners of a diagnosis that is not commonly prosecuted said Roger Knaff, a former city district attorney in New York. It is difficult to prove because it's not easy to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant he, he was that the defendant knew he was infected when the sexual intercourse took place. <coughs> of course we know he did. Uh, however, testimony from a doctor who was treating Kelly is damning evidence. It shows back as far as 2007, Kelly knew he had a venereal disease. And if it can be proven that he knew that he continued to have sexual intercourse, then the offense can be proven against him. McGrath also testified that Kelly did not pay for his medical services at all. And um, that Kelly often gave the physician and his wife free tickets to concerts and at times paid for the couple to travel to concerts around the country. Prosecutors showed a photo of McGrath and Kelly together at a cigar bar in Chicago 
in early 2019, which McGrath said was the last time he spoke with Kelly and was taken shortly before the singer's arrest. You know, if you or anybody you know have been a victim of sexual assault, please call the National Sex Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-4673. And also the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network, R-A-I-N-N. And that's... Uh, also, that's the website. So you can call the National Sex Assault Hotline and the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network online. 1-800-656-4673. Again, that number is 1-800-656-4673. Well, our... Um, you in trouble, and um, we gonna throw the book at you. So, with that being said, um, now what y'all think about that? What y'all think about R. Kelly? What you think about the situation he got himself in? You think he is, um, deserves to see the light of day? And um. Just your overall thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below, okay? All right, you guys. And as I've said it before, um, feel free to donate to the channel through Cash App. Also, at www.mentalhousetv at gmail.com. That's mentalhousetv at gmail.com. Mm, mm, mm. That's messed up, Arm. And also, also, people, um, follow us on um, Patreon. And for a mere $5 a month, you can get content and gifts that um, are pretty surprising for all that decide to um, partake in our Patreon. Thank you very much. And I hope it's up and running over there. But anyway, thank you for listening. And let me hear your comments below. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, y'all know Aaron Kelly. He, he's in trouble. I don't make it no mistake about it.